Hi everyone, it's Christina from NonprofitMarketingGuide.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up a listening dashboard tab on Hootsuite. If you don't know, Hootsuite is a great social media application that lets you combine all of your social networks in one place. Mo most people use it to schedule tweets or status updates on Facebook and it's also a great place to check out what's going on on all of your networks just by logging into Hootsuite because you can look at all of your news feeds from Twitter and Facebook without having to log in to Twitter then log into Facebook. So that's also another reason why it's so popular. We highly recommend it as a time saving and content creation tool, but we also use it as a listening tool. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So just quick little Hootsuite 101. When you first set up your account, it's going to automatically set you up with some tabs according to whatever social networks you have. I've sort of customized mine so they'll look different from yours, obviously. But you have your basic tab and here these vertical columns are called streams. So you, I have a home feed stream set up in this tab and this is everyone that I follow on Twitter and they're you know, all their tweets and stuff are there. Just like if you logged into your Twitter account, you would see what everybody was tweeting. Now, these are my sent tweets that I have sent out, and these are the people who have mentioned me specifically on Twitter. So, what I want to do today is set up a listening dashboard so I can hear what people are saying about nonprofitmarketingguide.com. Now, I have the free version of Hootsuite that lets you have up to five social networks accounts accounts but Kivi has the pro version which allows you to add teammates so what she has done is she has added me on a, as a teammate so I have access to her social media accounts that she has on Hootsuite too so if you don't if you're the only one handling your social media accounts then you don't have to fool with having team members or anything but I just wanted to let you know that it's gonna probably look a little different than what yours is gonna look like but don't panic Okay, so we're going to add a new tab here. So you just click on that plus sign. We're just going to name this listen dash. You know, you can name it whatever you want. Hit enter. And that's going to add the new tab. And after it adds that tab, we're going to have the option to add those vertical streams to get all the information that we want. Okay, so click on that. And wait forever for it to come up. Okay, there we go. Twitter. So it'll have select a profile. Again, if you're not a team member, then it's just going to be you. But I want to see Kivi and I want to see every time someone mentions her on Twitter. So that's a mention is anytime someone uses your username with the at sign in front of it. You see them all the time. Okay, so select the type of stream. Click on that arrow to get the drop down menu and then click on mentions. So we're going to create that stream. And now every time someone specifically uses Kivi's handle, you'll see right there where it says at Kivi LM, at Kivi LM. These are all the people that are mentioning Kivi on Twitter right now. Now that's great and all, but what happens if someone doesn't use that at Kivi LM sign? We're not going to be able to pick it up. We're not going to know that people are talking about that. So I'm going to add another stream, and this is a neat thing that Hootsuite lets you do, is you can create searches based on keywords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in parentheses, I mean in quotations, nonprofit marketing guide. So I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to add that. Now what that's going to do is that's going to search everyone's tweets to see if they're talking about nonprofit marketing guide. If they have nonprofit marketing guide in their tweet, then that's going to show up. So we're going to create the stream on that. Let's see what comes up there. Okay, so someone's talking about Kivi's book here. Someone's talking about, you know, blog posts she did. You know, we've got lots of different things that we would not have picked up if, you know, we had only stuck with the mentions. So pick out a few keywords that, you know, definitely put your nonprofit's name in there because if your Twitter handle is maybe the acronym for your name, but people are actually typing out your organization, then that's not going to pick up in these official mentions over here. You'll need to do the keyword search to figure out if people are still talking about you on Twitter. Now, another thing you could do it for is you can add another stream. And if there's a certain hashtag or keyword that's associated with your nonprofit, so if, you know, animal rescue or, you know, health services, anything like that, you could put in that word right there. So if I put in fundraising, 
if I could spell, if I put in fundraising right there and add that, then that's going to create a stream. Anybody that's talking about fundraising on Twitter, that's going to come up in this keyword here. So I can see what other people are talking about. I can pay attention to the conversation. If someone, you know, just happens to tweet that they, you know, really wish they could find, you know, training on direct mail, then I can respond, hey, we've got a great e-clinic starting, you know, with Tom Ahern next week. And, you know, maybe that's a way to sort of engage with them when we otherwise wouldn't have known that they were even talking. Now, these right here, the keywords and even the mentions, even if you're not following these people, they're still going to show up. If they tweet about it and their tweets aren't locked, they're going to show up in this list. So, like I said, this is just a great tool for you to listen to what's going on in your nonprofit sector. So, I highly encourage you to come up with some keywords that have to do specifically with your nonprofit. Definitely have a keyword set up on your organization's name because, like I said, if they're not using your official Twitter handle, you're not going to know they're talking about you unless you set up this keyword search. So just that's basically it. It's really easy. You can keep setting up as many streams as you want and just adding in different keywords or you can combine up to three keywords in one stream, but that might get a little confusing. So um, just keep it simple and you'll have it and that's it. And like I said, it's a great way to listen to what people are talking about and engage people and sort of get in the conversations that you probably didn't even know were happening. So thank you for listening. If you have any other um, video tutorials you'd like to see from us, please just comment below and we'll do our best to get to those. Thank you.